What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to the My Wait, Audio my Nerds. Phone. Shut your mouth. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Terrell. You know what? <laughs> this is the My Audio. Okay, all over again. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to the My Audio Nerds podcast, the podcast for audio nerds like your. Self and basically what we're doing is uh, is talking about audio and just all the things in our community that is going on. Please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube. Also make sure that you follow us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts. Please give us a thumbs up and good rating. We really appreciate it. And also comment below because you guys are hilarious. To the left of me, LJ the FL the FL General. Okay, you know, we disgusting. To the right of me, Kachow. Ableton Nation, assemble. Ableton Nation? Did you just it's say Kachow? Lightning, Mc, Lightning McQueen. Ableton Nation? Lightning McQueen on your eyes, boy. Ableton, Ableton, Ableton Nation? Ableton Nation. Can I say assemble. something that what we learned over the past assemble. couple episodes so far? Oh you have a, you have slightly have a hive. really, like, a big hive. A hive like, there's a hive of producer. Ableton. We, we exist out there. We're everywhere, you know? Yeah. It's, it's really odd to me. And but, we're very calm, you know? You see us coming down the street. We're just mad, just, just gentle, like, cool. No, that's Easy pro going people. That's pro tools. That's a, not true. You have a hive. You're confused. You know, you know who you know who uh, pro tools people are. Who? They're Drake. They're Drake in real life. We are Drake. I've become no, I've become so rich. Uh, uh, my music is unrelatable. Are we related to artists now? This, just like so, I'm sorry. This man. This uh -huh. this man with his pro tools. <laughs> with his pro tools. Um. Uh. What's the word? Um. Privilege. You get to just flaunt your <laughs> yo. <laughs> Can we actually do this in young have, money we terms? We have air technology. I don't all think, do it in rap. If we do, do it in hip hop terms. I want to do it in young because it's such a we, we know the lineup terms. of young money. Here's my here's my mm. um you about to violate analysis. I'm here. I'm here Pro for Tools it, is Lil Wayne, Pro the Godfather. Pro Tools is Wayne. Pro okay, Pro Tools is Wayne. Pro Tools is Lil Wayne. Great conversation. FL Studio is Ooh. definitely Drake. We're the most popular. Where we have a you know what I mean. We're not leaving. I want to fight you, but I want to see where he goes to. I want to see where he goes to. I want to fight that. Is Nicki Minaj? No, Ableton is Lil Chucky. It. Yeah, violate it. You violate it. You violate it. No disrespect to Chucky, though. Here we go. That's not Look, true. Here we go. Ableton They're Nicki Minaj. Ableton is Nicki Minaj. Mac Main. You're. No. Mac. No. Ableton. I'll give you a Nicki Minaj. I'll give you a Nicki Minaj. Logic is Nicki Minaj, that. though. I don't think so. I nah, think... Logic is gonna, gonna. Gutta, gutta. No, because we all like gutta, gutta. No. Don't, don't get it twisted. No. We all like, like gutta, gutta. Grocery I... bag? Hard. <laughs> logic. Anyway. Logic is not Tiger. Grocery I think Ableton bag. Ableton, Ableton had a tiger. resurgence. Ableton We're might not be tiger. Tiger. Ableton We're not tiger. We're not tiger. tiger, bro. My bad. You might be Tiger, bro. We're not Tiger. Y'all yeah, always been popping, even We're though y'all never been like the top all the time. Y'all have come up. Y'all have been down. Y'all have... y'all always have a record. Y'all always keep one. Y'all yeah, Tiger. But... Yeah, they're nah, Tiger. Nah, it's not true though. Cause then Logic Timbo has uses to be us. Nikki. Logic has to be. Logic is probably Nikki. All right, I'm moving on. Whatever. But okay, we'll come back to this. Mixcraft is Birdman. I knew you was gonna say that you're a loser. I knew you was gonna say something go. about Birdman and related to a DW that. Yo, honestly, if they come anyway, I'm not gonna do this. Give <laughs> us what? our. If what? Whoa, I want to hear that. Give now. us. No, I'm not doing it because I'm not gonna shoot myself in the foot like I did the last couple episodes. Oh, man. Give us our one gotta go. All right, today we have creative vocal plugin bundles. All okay. right, I got three for y'all. I low key want to say pick one, but I'm gonna do one gotta go. We got sound toys. Yeah, okay. Alter Boy, Decapitate. I'm only talking about creativity. I'm not talking about which is the best or which offers the best essential shit. Okay. It's easy. Um, but we got Alter Boy, Lil Alter Boy. We got mm. Decapitator. I love that. That's those are one of my favorite plugins is Lil Alter Boy. Right. We got uh, Isotope, the doubler, vocal synth, all the creative stuff, right? Okay. And then we have Antares, Harmony Engine, Choir, obviously Auto Tune. So, so they're bundles. So the bundles. So yeah. we're talking about bundles. So you said Antares. Mm. Review it right quick. Antares. Antares uh, with the Voc uh, Avox, everything. I know what's in there. Avox, yeah. Antares, name <laughs> the companies. Isotope. Isotope. And Sound Toys. I'm not going to lie. This is probably one of the hardest, the toughest ones. And this is specifically for something? For, or vocal for vocals? For and creativity, too. Like when, we, when you want to source up the vocals on the ad-libs or something like that. I go to... Um, I go to Isotope's doubler every time. Isotope that's has my, the best doubler. Yes. Isot like that's something that people don't talk about enough. Isotope has the best doubler and it's free. Mm -hmm. I said this last on a, a couple episodes ago. And I still think vocal synth is better than its competitors. Personally, I use vocal synth over Ovox from Waves. Um, I haven't used Ovox, so I can't even comment. The only thing I might use vo uh, more than vocal synth 
is manipulator, but you that's damn right. Shout out to Polyverse. Shout out to Polyverse. The they, manipulator's OD. I don't I, honestly, bro. Right. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what to pick. You got to though. I gotta go, bro. Oh, I'm not getting rid of this. I'll make a choice. Sound I can make a choice. What? I'm gonna take out. Um, I'll take out Isotope. That's easy for me. Whoa. Okay. Because like, are you looking? Are you looking at it from the sense of, oh, thermal's gonna go da 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 da, all that stuff? Because I could be considered as creative, but if I'm thinking of like even vocal creative like things, like big things in the Isotope umbrella, yeah. The first thing that in my head is I'm going to Nectar or Neutron. And I'm just like, shout out to Neutron. You use the Nectar bundle. Uh, you lose the Nectar bundle too, though. That's you lose vocal. everything. But I'm fine with that. Because then at this, at the end of the day, every like everything else in that bundle, I'm looking at as the five star like piece right. is to help me mix the vocal. I can mix the vocal. I get. So I understand his sentiment. Like I totally understand. For, I don't want to get rid of any what, of them. For what makes them RX. a strong suit? But you can't get. You can't get. You can't take auto tune from me. You can't take. You can't yeah, take. No, take auto tune. It's untouchable. Not, untouchable. I'm not. Yeah. Sound not toys. Argument. I still haven't found a delay that that's is on the level. Echo Boy. That's Echo Boy is so tough. It's so you can't get rid of Echo Boy because it's the to me it's the the warmest delay that I, I have. And Decapitator is one of the greatest distortion, distortion plugins, plugins there ever. is. So when I think about Upgrades it, upgrade to VST three. Come on. Didn't they, they did it though. Oh no, they, they, they announced it. They, they announced it. But they upgrade. Okay, well that's they're still, about to still give VST three. That's, that's some nerdy step. shit that's to know. By the way, that's very important. So I, ah oh, man, I don't want to say Isotope because it's not Isotope. But I think in this case right now, then I would probably say Isotope in that case. Mind you, I am a huge user of Isotope stuff. I literally used Neutron last night. Yeah, I use it. I'm sorry, y'all tripping. But bro, they got something. Neutron four has a transient shaper. That's cool. I heard about that. Y'all are tripping though. What's up? How we tripping? What Sound you, Toys is out of here. You're tripping. Wow. Sound Toys is out. How? 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 Why do there's you so though? many dope alternatives to Sound I can go without using Sound Toys. So, uh, you know what? So, I'll say this to you. You're absolutely right. There are alter alternatives to like, their I, stuff. I can live without Little Alter Boy because I have yeah. uh, Manipulator. Or I can live without Decapitator. I have other distortions. That's true. Yeah. So, you know, I'm sorry. I apologize. I will say Sound Toys off the strength of I won't. I'll be upset about losing their stuff, but at the mm. same time, I'll be like, I can figure it out. Now, Isotope, on the other hand, is so unique. Like, there's nothing like Neutron. There's nothing like um, Oz. Like, there's nothing like their stuff. So I think that I would keep Isotope and mm. Antares, and, and I'd probably have to get rid of I'm Sound Toys. I'm going to trade nah, in my Isotope. auto tune EFX for Waves Tune or Crispy Tuner. You are drunk. Crispy Tuner was fire. It but is, but it's not. It it's not better than. Yeah, it's not better than auto. It don't sound the same. Yeah, it's it's not not better better are we gonna be nice or are we keeping it a bean? I'm keeping it a bean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm dead like, keeping it a bean. I, yeah. I would, I'm dead. I'm, I'm for real. At first, Crispy Tuner is nice. It was nice. It's like. Nah, I'm not gonna make it fair. Yeah, don't say it. I know you're gonna say you're gonna say it's a broke man's uh, auto. I know you're gonna say no, it's but nice. It was. It was a good. It's a good program. It's like Shine uh -huh. and Auto Tune is Biggie. Wow, that was a great comparison. That was actually a really good comparison. I'm about to say that was actually a really good comparison. Nice is dope. Okay. But it, nonetheless, the functionality and what, what Antares does is unmatched. Like, people don't yeah. even deep dive into what AutoTune Pro and stuff like that does, even Can though really I use do, EFX yeah. like a madman. But Harmon the Harmony, the Harmony engine. engine, do not oh say it, because that's my gosh, secret. That's the one. That's my secret. Oh, that's the secret? People don't know about, people do not use that Harmony engine. And I don't all. like the other Harmony that engines coming for that are out from their competitors. That's me personally. Yeah, I'm, well, I haven't, I haven't tried I one try of them. The, I want to try the Waze one too. I'm going to try the Waze one. I was going to say, I'm going to try the Waze one. Waze is trying to come Because the Waze one has like an ability to like move physically move the, the things in certain spots like it has, mm -hmm. has some cool stuff that i've seen but i haven't i haven't tried it out yet but if i'm I, gonna start trying if it out i was a betting man uh -huh. i would bet that autotune might figure out zero latency on the harmony engine before mm -hmm. anyone else and if they do that it's fucking out of here can i say something mm -hmm. i think that exists because when i use it i use it whoa well, when i do whoa yeah damn i snitched on myself when you i do my ad that out you want to view you that you out? See, no no, no i'm keeping it. it's okay i don't care you don't know what you don't know my settings it don't matter you can sit all day and try <laughs> to find my He's settings like, i'm not putting this preset up there yeah facts but i think that um i think that no i don't i don't think i don't think that way i don't think that's the way to do it like as far as like for me i always get latency maybe it's just my system i don't get latency FL might be funny. Can I say something? You don't throw no it disrespect. On a door FL, is crazy. hold on. When I go into other doors with certain plugins, sometimes I notice that there are issues with certain plugins. I, I'm about above, to say, above, I, I above will say, this. I don't know. Like out of all doors I've seen, Logic, I see so many people complaining about recording in y'all. It's Yo. such a it's like, and then it blows my mind because I'm like, the songs that come out of this door is incredible. So how did you? Figure it out. Bypass you know what's funny? This, I don't know. I'm the exact opposite with Ableton. The songs that come That's, out of your doll are all terrible. That's not true. 
Somebody recording? Y'all recording Ableton? Bro, is that Freaking, a thing? Um, Sorry. Ki yes. <laughs> Kiss Me More. <laughs> Kiss Me More was rec was produced and recorded in Ableton. So y'all record vocals in stereo? How, no, no. So, so shout out to everybody in the comments because they let Here us know go. that, which they just kind of mirrored what you said about Ableton yeah. and the mono tracks. It was like how basically all you got to do is switch it. it. It records like a multi mon like a mono track, and then it just makes it like a, a multi mono file like at the end or something like that okay. something weird they said like that but i wasn't sure there's a lot of people were able to let me tell y'all y'all are really calm and y'all like to explain yourselves i respect i had a news found respect for ableton I users know. This week, I know uh, we know you don't have respect for any other DAW but FL Studio, Ableton Nation. No, I have, I have respect for Pro Tools. Y'all the OGs. I have respect for Logic. I just feel like nothing. I don't feel. What like do you feel like? No, tell feel. us how you feel. Shout out to Ableton. He man. feels that we're not I on, watched, on their level. Have you watched? Uh, this is off topic. Now. What? The new episode of Raising Canaan. Have you watched that? They're using Ableton. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's no. what's up. They're not using Ableton. We're on stars. There's so one of them is in therapy, group therapy for his anger management. And what he does now is he breathes. He's like, you know what? You can have it. When you watch it, you're going to laugh okay. hard as hell. Okay. But yeah, when it comes to Ableton, I'm going to just start breathing. You know what I mean? Y'all should give me Are you scared of Ableton? Me. I'm not scared of Ableton. I'm not scared of any Where's dog. Because I'm going to keep it a bean with you. Where's this hate coming have from, no young good man? Step, no other dog has a good step sequencer like us. And y'all don't have as good a piano roll, so I can't be scared of y'all. That's all you guys ever say, though. You know, I recorded vocals in the FL studio once with you. Yes. Didn't enjoy it. Because you weren't the end. What you didn't even record. I was the engineer. I know. I didn't enjoy it. Why? Why didn't you enjoy it? I just didn't enjoy it. Why? Because seeing my audio like that, it would just looked weird. Like it was in blocks and stuff. I didn't like it. That sounds racist. I, I, I about to say. I feel it's like it's not. I feel that feels like, like that feel has like, nothing to do with. Like is it Dawism? <clears throat> It's dog, it's dog, that, that might be it, something. Think about it. You still don't use dark mode on your Pro Tools. Cap. Yes, I do. <laughs> I try to lie. It's automatic. I try to Can you show it's my automatic screen? now. I'm you show my screen? I it's try to dark mode, ladies it's and automatic. gentlemen. Don't fool you. I, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I wanted to hit a three-pointer off the back. You <laughs> did. You reached. I ain't going to lie. I was like, if you went with it, it would have been gone. If, no, you, I got one. if you go to a studio and you still see the white Pro Tools. <laughs> that's bad. Yeah, that's, that's bad. That's They're OD. They're on Pro Tools 7. That's OD. With the M audio. <laughs> the Empower Pro Tools. Nah, you, if you know, you know. Yeah. Pro Tools back in the day had three versions. It Shout was Pro Tools M LE. How's M Audio? How was M Audio? Yeah. I think Pro Tools Avid bought them. Oh, wow. No. Years ago. Yeah. Uh, Why do you think M Pro Tools Empowered was a thing? I feel like uh, it was just a deal. There has to be no, something. No, I think they bought them. I think Avid Shout bought M Audio. M I, they have one of my favorite. MIDI keyboards. There's no pads on oh, it or anything. The, it, I'm the, talking about which one? No, it's a new hammer action. It's called the M88. It's an 88 key. Ha I'm a pianist, so like, it's a hammer action MIDI keyboard. That's so it's expensive. It, it, it's weighted. It's not just weighted. It's weighted, weighted. It's not regular weighted. Oh, like so it feels good. It, it feels, feels good. good. It feels oh, that's real. interesting. I still don't own it. So shout out, yo, M Audio. I love y'all. And if y'all are owned by Pro Tools, then I'm a Pro Tools user, and I would love that. That's product. all it takes for you to convert. I'm kidding. Wow. Can, can wow. I say something? Can, no, you know, because FL people, we have senses of humor, or we have a sense of humor. Yeah, you senses. have a fruit that loads up when you start. And that's not. That's not, not. Hold on, hold on. That's not. The the, that's, that's not the sense of humor. The sense of humor to me is how much y'all are trying to revolutionize the game for young engineers and mm -hmm. yet y'all still every edition will not take that goddamn limiter off your fucking no master. it is off bro oh it is there's a there's good. a setting <laughs> good. there's a setting good. there's a setting i good. just so happen to have the setting okay that loads in with it can i say something listen to what he's can saying I say something about because that that's bad yeah. fl does not care for y'all engineers like there's like all respect your, no learning all respect to, no learning. love 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 y'all all though. respect to all dw's what i didn't like was the that fact was that y'all left that was weird that it was a clipper or the limiter that you had on the end of your chain it was I, the, limiter. the limiter a lot of clipper. people didn't know a lot of people don't know that like we're when not they engineers we're producers exactly producers, so y'all were sure. producing it and it was that i ain't gonna lie that might be the greatest marketing tactic the greatest marketing of all time it's a put a limiter your beats is fresh. You hit your kick, you like, oh, it sound crazy. Yo, why is my joint click clicking like this? Uh, that was actually genius. I felt so fire. Like, like, see, this how that's yo, really good. That's good use, marketing. One day we need to do a DAW switch up and really do that live and try to make a beat in each other's though. Cause y'all ever mixed? A I will beat? make a fire beat in in in, in FL. Cause I'm I'm probably probably FL. the only I probably pro too. Only program I'm familiar too. with is Ableton. Realize we all had FL. Everybody had. Y'all ever mixed the record with like nine sound goodizers on your on your chain? Can that I just say something? Sounds great. It's called You're the sound disgusting. goodizer. Like that's just not fair. First, sound like we said before, sound goodizer was the first God particle. That's very true. Yep, that's fact. And then 
Uh, yeah, I have the reverb with three E's. Two D relax. It's two. It's two. Oh three my bad. Reverb. I apologize. Do you think what that somebody three was? Three was cause do you think e that e when they made reverb, yeah. uh, FL Studio, like they was making the plugins, and then they made a mistake, and they was like, "Oh fuck!" and they let it out. <laughs> I feel like reverb. And it's like, <laughs> "Fuck!" Re and they spelled it wrong. Like, oh yeah, no, it might be. It might be. Cause this why? There's no reason for that. Fruity love filter. Is, is the balance. fruit on Fruity Loops like a real fruit? Look like an apricot. Yeah, I think it's it's like a little peach or apricot. It's a peach or apricot. That's not a peach. That's a long ass peach. It's like apricot. It, it do look like a fake pepper. It looks like a fake pepper. It looks okay. like a pepper. A pepper is not a fruit. That's not a pepper. It looks like a pepper though. That's not a pepper. Bro, oh, it doesn't like even show up. My, you see, that's how good. Because you got, you got, a, you got a real, like a you got a genuine version of FL Studio. Yes. Okay, I just making sure. <laughs> Why did he just question his, Yo, his credibility like that? Today? <laughs> that was so. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Yo, genuine version of FL Studio. You got the cameras real quick. I'm not gonna lie, I shot at you crazy. That would be so funny if we actually cut the cameras. And showed... And then, yo, yo, cut the cameras real quick. And then it just <laughs> switches up to us talk about... <laughs> yo, let's do that. Post. I bet. All right, so we're going to move on because I realized we didn't even get to our topic yet. Oh and the topic goodness. that I wanted to bring to you guys was this. Is mixing mm -hmm. more important than mastering? Absolutely. For one sure. or the other. Like, which one do you believe that one is more important over the other or one is more important than the other? Absolutely. So you're, what is your stance? Absolutely, yes. You it's think that mixing more is more important, important than mastering? Yes, yes. What do you think? I second that. You think mixing is more important than mastering? Yeah. yeah. I don't want a loud, bad mix. Remember when we were at NAM? Shout okay. out to the good people at Avid. Okay. Uh, we went to Urko's house. And remember how he yeah. told us he mastered a few records? Yeah. Donda? Yeah. He said, I just brought it up a few dB. That's That's, what, can I tell you something about what that experience taught me? Hmm. Our industry is changing. For sure. I see a lot of mixing engineers uh, just kind of mastering the records. Yeah. Like, I'm noticing that now. And it's really odd to me. And I'm trying to figure out why that's happening. I, I would, to be honest, I would like to talk to a mastering engineer about what's actually happening. Well, actually, I kind of like, I've, I've thought about that too, actually. And I feel like it kind of comes down to the sense of just how the creative, like, just the modern day creative does want to, like, have as much say so over their fully creative process before they send it out gotcha. and you also got to think about it you know back then it was it was that much more everything is delegated you're the artist mm -hmm. you're the writer you're the producer you're the engineer you're the mastering engineer right now when you pre when you present the opportunity for the lines to become more blurred mm -hmm. of course now the uh mixing engineer can become the artist and say yeah but I mix this really well, so I don't want some random mastering engineer to touch my shit. And it sounds commercially and, cool, and messy. But it, I lost all the fidelity that I made it like that made it fire. So I've actually, so for me, I've ran into the situation right where mm. I mix a song. Right, this is years ago. I mix a song, okay, and then <clears throat> we gave it to somebody to master, and, and he didn't like it. He just he destroyed. I you. remember one of those moments actually. But no it, names, it messed though, you up because yeah. you're like, oh, you're just gonna enhance it. But it's like, yo, you took the dynamics. No, the song it. sounds different. Though. It sounds it's gone. mad different, right? It's gone. So I think that's so. I think that's what's happening is what he's saying is basically it's like I'm getting very particular about this is a such and such mix and yeah. I want this mix to be straight to up, sound like this to sound exactly like this and stuff like that. Exactly. And then there's the complaint about the loudness war still being a thing, which I think that's where I think that's what that's what this all kind of like stems from. You was gonna say something? Mm -hmm. I think the mastering engineer is dying. I don't. Oh, feel for sure. Like for sure. That's an interesting for sure. take. I have maybe like 80 engineers in my contacts uh -huh. i don't think any of them are master specific i yeah. think they're tracking engineers uh -huh. and mix engineers or uh -huh. mix and master engineer i don't and right now when we're like there's this whole new generation of uh, -huh. uh new engineers uh -huh. new producers new multi-faceted everything right? uh -huh. i feel like why pick one we're all feeling like why would we just pick one and if you're gonna pick one why just pick mastering that is true. Like, why only do mastering exclusively? I feel like, I, I, this is new to me because okay. I didn't know that uh, until maybe three or four years ago that uh -huh. it was really that divided. I thought it was the tracking uh -huh. and the mix engineer. Right. And I found out, wait, there's people that only master all day, nothing mm -hmm. else. Yes. I'm like, whoa. Yes. That's odd. So wild. out of respect for the craft, because I have a lot of respect for mm -hmm. mastering, mm -hmm. and I think we have to do our due diligence when we talk about it. When it comes to mastering, it is a skill set. For sure. I am way better at mixing. Mm -hmm. Than I am mastering. Of course, I, have I would say the same thing for myself. Right, I've recently feel like I've gotten to a place in my mastering where you're like, oh, I'm noticing something. I'm noticing, oh, I think I'm getting there. Like I have there. certain tells now. Yeah, I have like I'm tells. starting to get there as from my mastering standpoint. And it was always taboo in our industry to never mix and master. And master. Yeah, it's taboo. I wasn't aware of that. So that that's probably why 
what I'm saying comes off maybe might come off disrespectful to a, ma- a mastering engineer. Sure, because mm. I would. really am not. So is mastering that? I'm not an engineer. I got you. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I don't engineer. I, mix, I got you. I can mix whatever, but I'm not, I'm not going to call myself an engineer. Right. So is mastering that intricate that mm-hmm. you need to dedicate a lot of time to learning that craft on its own rather than being able to do both? It can I, be. I say yes. Yeah. It is. I'm going to be honest with you. When it comes to my journey as an engineer, mm-hmm. mastering has been the hardest part of my engineering career. Wow. Absolutely. Like that's the thing that. When I figure something new out, it's a big difference. Let yeah. me explain to you why. Mm-hmm. When it comes to getting something loud, right? That was our thing. Like that's always been the thing. Like I want to make sure this mm-hmm. is loud. I want to make sure it hits, and I want to make sure um, I have dynamics. Meaning, right. I want it to <clears throat> still breathe. I don't want it to feel like it's just a squash mess. That is a skill. In order to put it in your car, play the song, it hit, and it's you still feel the ups and downs of the song as far as the quieter stuff and the louder stuff. That is really tough. And what people don't realize is when you have a really squashed mix, you'll you don't the a listener doesn't know this, but you kind of it feels boring. No, it, feel, it feels whack. It feels boring. It feels whack. When the when the eight oh eight is just sitting at the same, at the same volume, volume, it just feels condensed. It, yeah, people, but people don't know that. That's why I feel like people don't have a lot of respect for the mastering engineer. Mm-hmm. But I was even like, I'm um, sorry to cut you, but like mm-hmm. even um on that tidbit, um. One of the things to me that actually became really clear for mastering mm-hmm. is that like overall stereo enhancements on tracks, yes, it really comes down to the mastering phase. Because yeah. when I think about it, um, the the new song that Charlie Puth just released with the guy from BTS, uh-huh. um, I know I know the song, but I don't know. Uh, uh, that especially that specific riff, uh-huh. it's one one section rings out on the left and then one section rings out on the right. Uh-huh. But when you hear it on speakers, uh-huh. it sounds level. It sounds even, and I'm right. like, that's a mastering. Thing. That's a mastering thing. So you know what it is, bro. When it comes to mastering engineers, I'm gonna tell you two reasons why I just I I'm on the fence with both of them and why I kind of herald them in the same space. Mm-hmm. As somebody that has mixed and mastered their uh, my whole career, right? I've learned that when it comes to albums, there's no way that I can send or get away with not mastering correctly because think about it when you play an album in your car, there's a reason why when I play a blast album, I don't need to touch the the volume knob. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You can tell an unprofessional unprofessional album when one song is louder than the other or then the next song feels like the bass is just like, oh, the bass on this one sounds OD. What I've noticed in my favorite albums is, bro, they sound cohesive, cohesive. as fuck. That's always our thing. Yeah. It's like they sound mad cohesive. That has a lot to do with the mastering engineer because yep. think about it. If I have eight different people mixing these songs because usually – Someone doesn't mix the whole yeah. album. It's usually he did that. Another mix engineer did that. Mm-hmm. The master engineer's job is to sonically, literally make, those, yeah. make, make it all feel sound, like, like this one is one so- sonic sound. Make so sense. for me, when it comes to my albums, that's why when I do my mix, I don't mix and master in the same session. Mm-hmm. That's another reason why I don't do that. I master in a whole separate set. So I'll mix all the records like right now. You see me, I'm like, yo, I'm just mixing right now. Mm -hmm. When I like my mixes, I then take all of those songs, bring them into a brand new session, and then master. And this is me just trying to make it all sound like one thing. From a, I don't want you to touch your volume knob and stuff like that. So for me, bro, I'm not going to lie, I'm on the fence with it because I think that mastering is just as important. Maybe not in the singles aspect. So can I? But albums, yeah. I can. I think I can get you off the fence with okay. two questions. Okay. Back to back. Sure. They have to go with each other. Mm-hmm. Do you think a good master could fix? No. Do you think a good mix? Mm. I know what you're gonna say. Go ahead. A bad master. A, a bad master uh, with a good mix. Do you think that's you can get away with that? No. You say a good you, mix can hide a bad master. A good mix that? can hide a. I think. I think it, it's interchangeable. Because I don't think. I think you can get away with mm. a bad master on a good mix, but you can't get away with the bad, bad mix, mix on a, a, good a good master. I, yeah, I don't think you can get away with a no bad mix. Ma- I don't think you can get away with a good master. It's not. It's not. It's not vice mix. versa for the mix. No. End. Yeah. Yeah. No master is good enough to, can save, a to fix, mix. save a to fix to save a terrible mix. mix. Yeah. And th- honestly, that's what I was thinking about when we came up with the topic. I was like, well, a mix can't save a master but no. also a master definitely can't save a mix mm-hmm. yeah. because if i think about it i go yo there's times when we've all seen interviews with master engineers they'll be like yo i had to call it mix engineer back like yo yeah. y- your low end is too much you got to bring this down you gotta or you got to fix gotta that like there's XYZ. nothing i can do with it like you understand what i'm saying even from a standpoint of like headroom like yep. when i'm when i'm mixing 
at the end of my guard particle, shout out to the guard particle, you know what it is. Jason greatest Joshua. That's right. Greatest, greatest plugin of the year. Um, I literally take the output of the guard particle, I turn yeah. the limiter off, and sense. then I turn down my um output to so about yep. 3 dB. 3 dB has been become my new sweet spot for my mixes as far as like, okay, write 3 dB, and then I'll, I'll start mastering from there and stuff like that. Hmm. So um, I just think from that hmm. standpoint, it's like I can't do one without the other. But at the same time, I do understand why we're shifting into mix engineers starting to master. Yeah. Because I think that we have more access now than mm -hmm. ever. I think we're all using the same shit now. Yeah. What I will say is this. When it comes to real mastering houses, the equipment that they have, bro, is insane. Yeah. And a lot of time it's modified. It so, is. So I looked at, you ever, you watched the mix with the master stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So there's one time there was a guy... And my whole fight with everything online, I was looking for like, yo, I'm trying to get my song loud. Like, why can't I get my song loud? So I watch a thousand hours of videos. And they had like this special board. He's like, this board we have has a ton of headroom in it. We built it a certain way, blah, blah, I blah. Say, yeah, even down to the rooms. Like, yeah. you have to be trained to like hear it. And understand it. Yep. Bro, he literally took the, he said, okay, he did like some EQ. Then he said, okay, let's make it loud. He literally took just two knobs, turned it up. It was louder than anything I've ever created. And he just did like this. He said, boom, all right, we're loud. And I was like, wait, wait, wait how? Like, I don't understand. It's that simple. <laughs> but it's a, like I said, it's a science. Like the master nah, shit sure. is a science, bro. Sure. And it's just like for you. It's just the same reason why there's a limiter on FL Studio. Like I, I look at that. It's like, a. it sounds like a master. That's why people were so into yeah, it. It's you know clean. what I just threw on uh, what I replaced my limiter with? What? You can guess. A clipper? No. What? <laughs> clipper. Plug I never created. Well, God year, particle? The goo yeah. particle. It's over. It's I don't touch God. It's the literally at particle. the end. At the Every end, time yeah. I open up a new session, yes. this is a God particle. Yes, thing. absolutely. I don't want to listen to my music. music for my no, me either, bro. Can I, be, can I tell you something that happened the other day? I sent so I bounced one of my mixes right. I did a mix and master, and I did, bounced one of my mixes. Mix mastered it. Did a big mix, mm -hmm. and I always compare it to like the rough. <laughs> yeah, right. Bro, I put the rough on. I said. This is a little too close. <laughs> he was like, because I bounced it with a guard particle yeah. on it already. Oh, yeah. He was so like, he was I like, was like, damn, yo, that. Did I, yo, it's, did a I do it? it's a scary It's a scary I don't like that. I'm not going to lie. I don't think we we getting paid by Jason. It's a great plugin, bro. Like, it's a great plugin, bro. I, we, we're, great we're, plug super, we're super not. So I I'm say. I'm a super fan. Man. So I'm, I'm a super fan too. So my, con my conclusion is, as far as mixing and mastering, I think that they both live in a place for me personally. Of equal importance. Yeah, they need to I, coexist. I understand, but I do believe. I, mixing, I don't blame you for your sentiment. Yeah, by the way, mixing is more important. It's it's it's, it's, a bad it's the mix, um, yeah. yeah no a bad mix is a bad mix. It's not reversible. I agree. It's not reversible. So you that that fuck, being said, yeah, if you fuck up your mix, you fuck up the record. Yeah, potentially. I, I'm not mad at you for saying that. Yeah. Like you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's just for me personally. It's not even. I don't want to say it to sound like, oh, you're not. You don't have respect, yeah, but no, no. I just have such a respect for the mastering mm -hmm. thing because it's been the hardest journey I've ever had. I True. Give you a perfect example. We won't play the record. What? But the Aaliyah record. That oh, they just put out with I the get weekend. it. That oh. is a terrible mix. I'm sure the mastering. Who, was great. who did the Who did the mix? Apparently. No, don't don't need Let's to say. Do that. Mike Dean mm -hmm. did the mix. Mike Dean did the mix. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, he did I'm that mix? Be, yes. You want me to let me fact check because I don't want to fuck yeah, with Mike. Yeah, fact check that. I don't know if he did the mix. If he did, it's all good. It it could he could. It's all good. Like and at the end of the day, happen, I, I love. You know, we all things, love Mike. Things Dean. happen. Yeah. Um, he did it. They had Mike Dean re. Yeah. No, he mixed it. Yeah. He mixed oh, the wow. record. So Mike Dean mixed and that record. Happen, you know, things happen, man. Sometimes that just might not have been his best day. Have you heard Travis Scott's album? Which one? Sounds pretty good. He says sounds pretty good. Mike Deezy. Mike, Mike, D. D. Mike Dean is a fucking producer. Yeah, he's, he's a great. he's a producer slash um engineer, but he's dope. And he also a lot of his videos. I like to watch a lot of his videos too as well. There's a channel yeah. I really wanted us to shout out. He takes all of the engineers, the little clips, and then he breaks down their clips. Talking about um soul slow soul 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 something soul something. But I really want to show state? respect. Yeah, because he state? really honestly, bro, you are like. I respect him so much. Yeah, in the shout community. out Soul State and For shout real. out Fleeco and like and like you know uh -huh. uh, can, can, can we can we talk about CLA Wu without YouTube killing us? Oh yeah, CLA Wu. <laughs> but shout out CLA Wu too. Like shout out all y'all like just you know in in this space and really like getting these clips to show people that might not have the opportunity to mm -hmm. like really tune into these joints or like really even be there in the moments like when Timbo or when Kenny Beats or when us are doing live streams to like you know educate y'all and taking these small pieces of macro content and putting it into a format that y'all can just digest it like at Facts. any time. That's Facts. really, that's and a really powerful thing. A lot thing. of people don't know, understand that's how important that is, but they do that. Um, And and that's really it. You got anything else to add? 
Shout out to the mastering engineers. I hope I didn't piss y'all off. Shout out to the mastering <laughs> engineers. We love you to death. Um, you're super needed. And um, yeah, maybe we can have a mastering engineer on one day and kind of just giving us the tidbit of what it is. That'd because be to be honest, be I, I still fight with sending my stuff to streaming platforms. Yeah. People say the loudness war is over. Maybe we'll do that in another topic. And then you also got to think about it, too. I don't think the loudness war is over. It's funny how you say you have so much respect for the craft of mastering, mm -hmm. and I don't think the game does. Because think about it. Oh, what, yeah. what, okay. is the, what is the biggest... Not, like People have been trying to do robotic or automa automatic mixes yeah. for years now, and it still hasn't been cracked. That's true. Automatic what's, mastering, what, though. What's what? being, what's being Lander, cracked right now? Lander. Automatic oh, Lander? mastering. Ozone. Automatic mastering. They're trying to pack... They're, they're trying, trying to get to mastering, they're trying to get mastering up. I'm not gonna lie to you. So it does seem like there's an attack on master engineers right now in the industry. Well, I want to ask one thing. I do want to ask a master engineer. Maybe someone can say in the comments is when you're sending your stuff to streaming platforms, are you sending? Are you putting your limiter at negative one dB or no? Nah? Mm. Are you doing that? Because they say it's recommended, but I'm I'm too scared to do it. Extra ceiling on the ceiling or no? And do y'all throw God particle at the end of your masters? Just Hell like, yeah! I, no, not at the end of my master. I throw it in my mix. <laughs> I don't care what it I is. I God particle my mixes. Ass. I do. Yeah, Jason, I use your plugin I mad do. wrong, but it worked. You right. Like, He's right. I see people actually. Right. I wonder what it sounds like in vocals. I'm like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop. <laughs> to throw your guitar. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> right now is putting Gar Particle on every, Listen, every track. Like, ah, hold on, bro. That Why S is EQ, coming in mad hard. EQ, Let me get that high down real quick. I'm going to EQ it in the, in the God Particle. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> The fact that you could do that though is real though. <laughs> Yo, it's scary. Jason, it's bad scary. You right. created a beast, Jason. So we're getting it's out tough. of here. Uh, that was the my audio nerds podcast about our discussion as far as is mixing more important than mastering. Please make sure you're following us on Apple Music, on Spotify, on yes, anywhere sir. you listen to podcasts. Also, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe if you're watching the video as well. And then Read let us, us know us. in the comments <laughs> below what else you want to see or what other topics you want us to attack. For sure. Are you good? Rate us five stars. Come on, five stars. Are you if good? You're FLU is a five Ableton stars. Nation. Come on. You already know some. Discussion. We're gonna get you a shirt that says Ableton Nation. I appreciate it. We're out of here. That is the My Audio Nerds podcast. Peace, y'all. I want a shirt with a fruit. With a fruit. <laughs>